The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. We now sing our first carol, once in royal David city. the light of the world has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts let us turn to the light and confess our sins Lord of grace and truth we confess our unworthiness to stand in your presence as your children we have sinned forgive us and heal us 
The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. We have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. We have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. We have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. We have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. May God, who loved the world so much, that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins, and make us holy to serve him in the world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, in the stillness of this night, you sent your almighty word to pierce the world's darkness with the light of salvation. Give to the earth the peace which we long for and fill our hearts with the joy of heaven through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The reading is taken from Isaiah 52, verses 7 to 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices, together they sing for joy. For in plain sight, they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God.
The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may have seen the newspaper headlines that Christmas has been cancelled. But of course, as Christians, we know that this is not true. Christmas is not entirely about Christmas trees, turkeys, Brussels sprouts, even giving and receiving presents. Christmas at its heart is the celebration of the birth of God's Son among us some 2,000 years ago. An event that changed human history. An event that represented God reaching into his world and making contact with his people. A rift had built up between humanity and God and God sent his only Son to be among us, to be one of us, to bridge that gap and bring us back to God our Father. Whatever happens in this year, whether we have to celebrate as a family at home or by ourselves at home, we can still celebrate that fact that God sent his Son. God loved us so much that he sent us the greatest gift he could and that is the heart of Christmas. Not the rest of the things, the traditions that have built up over the centuries, some old, some new, but the story of God's love for the world and God's doing what he can to be among us. So this Christmas, whether you're seeing other people, whether you're feeling a bit isolated, whether you can go out at all, or whether you're stuck at home, Remember that God is with us, each one of us, even me, even you, and that God loves us. And that is the gift of Christmas, not the rest of it. Lord God, be with us this Christmas. Help us to celebrate the birth of your Son. Help us to remember this, the greatest gift of all time, and to feel your presence among us even if we are by ourselves. Amen. I would now invite you to join in the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried, he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, and he, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now let us pray for this community and for the world. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Father, in this holy night your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your Church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night there was no room for your Son at the inn. Protect with love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your Son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, your Son, our Christ, came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night the angels sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard, heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all those whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed from death into the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. And now we pray as Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. We now sing our next carol, O Come All Ye Faithful.
I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. And we finish today with God's blessing. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and of Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you all and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.